Um, I'll call this one, what do you mean, they're all gone? Ah, fuck. Okay, this is a really depressing one, and I'm sorry, but I, I guess it needs to be done. And to try to make it a little less sad, I thought instead of doing just a list of all of them, I'll focus on three and tell you some interesting things I found while researching this really upsetting topic. Okay, first up is what's famously known as the Tasmanian Tiger, which was originally called Thiacin or Thiacine, which I think must be Latin. It was dog-headed pouched one because it was a unique animal where it was a carnivorous marsupial and there would have been they reckon 5,000 on Tasmania when the Europeans arrived and from excessive hunting and destruction of their habitat and introduced diseases their numbers quickly dwindled. The two months after they were granted protected status the last one died in a zoo in Hobart. His name was Benjamin and it died from exposure on the 7th of September 1936. It seems like what's happened to the Tasmanian tigers is a reoccurring thing to many species all over the world. Okay, the next one I'm going to tell you about is the golden toad which lived in the Costa Rican cloud forest when the last sighting of one was on the 15th of May 1989 and researching this one was interesting because it brought up lots of climate change debates and whether man-made climate change caused these toads to die out and one real interesting piece that I read was called global warming didn't kill the golden toad or something like that and it goes on to explain that the forest did heat up especially in the 80s and that caused this climate fungus to rapidly grow on amphibians which causes some disease that makes convulsions and skin loss and then they die. I didn't know if the title was a joke or not because it's like no yes it did warm up in this forest but that's not what killed them. The fungus that was caused from the heat is what caused the disease that killed them. So ha humans are off the hook. Oh gosh. But yeah it just another way I think we're wiping out every living thing on the planet. Yeah, go humans. And the last animal I'm going to tell you about is the Baichi or the Yangtze River dolphin, which was a freshwater dolphin which lived there for, they reckon, 25 million years. And because of humans and the destruction of their habitat and the building of dams and ships messing with dolphins sonar abilities to detect their food they went down to in the 1980s there was a few hundred in 1990 there were said to be a hundred left and in 2002 they said there were around 50 left it went down to there were 13 they had one called Kui Kui in a aquarium somewhere in china for a couple of decades from the 80s to like 2002 but even though there hasn't really been one spotted since like like some declared them extinct on the 12th of December 2006 and for some reason the uh, International Union of Conservation of Nature or something put them on the critically endangered list in like 2010 or something for some reason um yeah looks like they're gone uh, just another casualty of the human race. It's been really interesting and depressing researching this, and I do encourage everyone to do it yourself if you can handle it. Like, proceed with caution. It, it's a tearjerker. Of all the animals that have gone the way of the dodo since humans started exploring, and just so many breeds of seals and tigers and apes and marsupials and rodents and amphibians and sea life we've just completely fucked it all up and it is it gets quite disturbing like i was looking into the blue macaw like the bird that was the inspiration for the film rio which was already about one of the last macaws ever and they reckon there's none left in the wild in brazil and like maybe a couple hundred in captivity but 
is disturbing that when looking them up, there's still a link at the bottom of Google that said Blue Macaws for sale. Like that's a highly searched option and it's it's sickening. And But there is a bit of an upside where there'll be animals that seem to be on the extinct list and you look into it and their numbers seem to have gone up over the years in protected areas. If you think like African animals have kind of been saved. But then you also will then see like if they seem to be rare, real freaks want to go out and hunt them even more and it it is it is sickening so if you research this yourself proceed with caution